This is the second time uh, the City Intelligence Lab has done a workshop for the Digital Futures Conference. And I'll just say it's, it's an honor to be invited back. This year's Digital Future was really about uh, performance-driven design and how to bring that into practice. Because we have all these models, they are kind of available here and there, but barely any time they are used in early design stages. And this is something we wanted to explore this year. This year we were very excited because we, we had just released Infrared like two weeks before the workshop. Infrared, or the Intelligent Framework for Resilient Design, is a platform sitting on the cloud that allows for AI-powered analytical modules to be run on urban spaces. We focus on how the designers interact with this tool and what new things it enables for them in the design process. Everything is accessible through the browser. You have a design mode, you have simulation as a service, you can change massing options, you can manage your variants, and in the end you can also compare a bunch of designs based on KPIs. So really from the, from the beginning to the end. You are able to just get instantaneous results. This then allows and facilitates taking this, this process of data-driven design and pulling it into the early stages of the design process. We picked off the workshop by uh, a lecture of, of Reinhard Koenig, introducing cognitive urban design computing. Bill then Angelus Kronos um, gave an introduction to the lab. And then we provided a, a site in Barcelona and asked the students to come up with a performance-driven approach for an urban design project uh, using tools we showed throughout the next four days. We started with Infrared as a web platform, Infrared as a Grasshopper plugin. So we, we have the web app version where people can directly design buildings in the web app and sort of like get the performance feedback there but also um, a, a grasshopper integration which was just developed like a couple of days before the workshop that allows those who use grasshopper to interface with infrared in more comfortable more native ways you can use grasshopper and rhino to create your urban form and simply send that geometry to the server to, to that api and ask for it to run um, these analytics modules on your geometry. Uh, what would come back is the result of the analysis. The second day was about how to extend uh, the capabilities of infrared uh, in Grasshopper. It was interesting to see how the different approach was, like a, a much more procedural and data-driven approach was in Grasshopper, of course, because, and a much more intuitive approach, I think, happened on the web platform. So the third day we started off with a very exciting lecture by Adam Geyer and Theodore Galonis introducing and speaking about um, quality diversity. Quality diversity is a rather new field within artificial intelligence, a field that focuses on exploration rather than optimization. So the tenet of quality diversity is to search for novelty first and optimize for quality later. Group one was was quite impressive in in the sort of like diversity of tools they use. So they combined infrared with um, other things like incident solar radiation. And it really shows infrared's interoperability with with other such workflows. Group two had a quite a different approach. They experimented with a web platform and Grasshopper. One of the avenues of exploration was looking into retaining walls and seeing the the effect of their implementation on the wind. Group three were looking at how to best implement green spaces, whether it be a single large green space versus distributed smaller green spaces. They especially put emphasis on how does the location of the parks affect the overall microclimate in the whole area. So group 4 actually reached really, really far. They, were, they did a very complete analysis of the Nordbahnhof area in Vienna. The way they did so was to use infrared, but also in, in, incorporate a, a whole swath of, of other uh, analytics. Overall, we were quite happy how the workshop turned out in the end. Gave the students a bunch of tools, asked them to come up with their project ideas and see actually what they make out of what we produced over the last year. I think it was very obvious that they enjoyed the fact that they could very quickly evaluate and quantify their decisions and even play around. It was incredibly gratifying to see its use as well as to see the feedback of its use. Um, from this workshop alone, we've gathered not just a whole list of bugs for infrared, 
but also a lot of feedback on, on what features would really embolden and, and, and strengthen Infrared's value in real industry. Yeah, this was the biggest insight that the, the need and the demand for it is there. So we hope that tools like Infrared will provide. The best part for us is like continuing um, working with the participants either through the use of internet or, or other sort of like projects. And I think it's exactly the meaning of, of the Digital Futures event to actually connect a lot of people around the world.